I had a question about the Flashback Pro. When you would record a video and the, what you're recording didn't quite fit on the screen, sometimes you'd either get black edges or you'd get edges that you didn't know how to deal with. And even some of my videos had that. But I have a, a way that I adjust for that, and I thought I'd go ahead and make a recording on how I do that. The background for the Flashback video is 1920 by 1080. So if I'm going to do a recording and I know I'm going to be putting things on the screen, what I'll do is I'll make a, a graphic that size. So I just go ahead and open Paint. And in this case it's already set that way. If I go to Resize you'll see in Pixels that it's 1920 by 1080. I go OK. I set up a custom color usually. In this case I'm going to make it green. Fill the background with it. Then I'll add a little text. Try to go ahead and center it as best I can. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. I would normally use maybe Affinity or some other program for this, but everyone should have paint on their windows, so I'm just going to do it that way on this one. And then I'll just go ahead and save this. Call it a test background. And save it. And then I go ahead and close this screen and go to that background and open it. Okay, so now I'm viewing it through this photo software, but I know when I make the video in flashback that I'll, I'll size, that I can make the window whatever I want. So now whatever I'm working on, I just keep within this green area. So in this case, when I open this notepad, I can sit here and type and say, this is a test. Or if I just open another file folder, I just make sure I always keep it within this. So this way when I zoom in or around, like if I zoom in on this and I want to show this, the background will always be like a green color. It works pretty nice. And then I also have this graphic back here that I could pop in if I wanted to use it as an intro, a beginning, a closing screen, anything I want. I can just add that in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this now, create the movie, and then I'll start another one and I'll put it all together. And now I've created this, um, this part one, which is the video I just made. I'm going to open it within this screen. So here's my movie that I just made. So now if I, if I want to get rid of this background that I have, I can go ahead and insert an image. If I load this one I just, I just made, if I go to the position, you can see if I center it horizontally and vertically, it's right at the line. So if I click OK, now that's what's there. And then I can make it display that for as long as I want. And then if I go into the movie itself, this is where I was making the video here. So let's go to where we were when we were clicking around. And So here's where we were when we had the two things open. If, if I don't want to see this white background, I can just go ahead and click Add a Pan or Zoom. Click OK. and now apply and you can see that that works pretty good. 
between creating the image for the video itself and creating the image to use as a background you can see how you can get rid of the black on either side I know it shows black right here right now but that's just the, the display itself if I were to close this in you wouldn't see that but the actual width of the screen is just this green area you see here I hope that helps if you have any questions put them down in the comments area and I'll try to address them there thanks for watching